Continue to work to fully contain the McKinney fire in Siskiyou County. The Forest Service is mourning one of its own. An employee who spent her entire career looking out for fires has now been identified as one of four people who died in the fire. KTV's Mark Sayer has her story and how she will be sorely missed. Since 1974, Kathy Schutman worked at the top of the highest mountains in the Klamath National Forest, looking for telltale small wisps of smoke from fires which were just starting. But she was at her own home when the McKinney fire came barreling through. During the initial attack of it, a thunder cell pretty much came over it and, and caused the fire to grow very rapidly. Um, and, and Kathy was in her home in the community of Klamath River. There are a network of fire lookout towers throughout national forests, which are the first line of defense when it comes to locating fires. The faster a new fire is spotted, the faster the attack can begin. Schutman, seen here second from left, was named Fire Lookout of the Year in 2014. So Kathy, Kathy worked on the Klamath for a really, really long time. She was here uh, since the early 70s, and um, and she's been at the, the lookout that she's been working on since 1993, and that's Buckhorn Lookout. In this video of Monday's fire briefing, provided to KTVU by Siskiyou.News, Forest Service employees paid tribute to their fallen colleague. She would have been 75 in November, and she'd been our primary lookout at Buckhorn Bali since 1993. So wanted to ask folks to, to please take a moment with me and bow your heads uh, and think of our lost lookout, Kathy. And while Schutman worked at the Buckhorn Lookout, which is at over 5,000 feet, and she worked alone, she was still a very familiar presence to all on a regular basis. Uh, so she's really um, a part of this forest. She's uh, a part of a tight-knit community uh, and, and, and her coworkers. Um, uh, we're used to hearing her on the radio, you know, and she had a voice that was very familiar to everybody. The exact circumstances of Schutman's death are still under investigation, but officials say she did indicate she wanted to stay at home rather than evacuate when the fire initially began. Schutman was 74 years old and is survived by her sister. I'm Mark Sayer, KTVU Fox 2 News.